Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. We are having the best time at Inskip Point. And yes, I did get the gastro bug the day after we left. However, Ed didn't, and neither did any of the campers in the three caravans in front of us. Would it stop me going back? Maybe, until they work out where it's coming from. It's a beautiful spot. We fished and swam every day and caught nothing edible or anything worth bragging about. We decided we might try our luck at Tiwa Beach. We thought we would show you the boat ramp at Idskip Point called Bullock Point Boat Ramp. It's to the left as you turn onto the Inskip Point. Seven point five kilometres from Rainbow Beach is Ceres Creek. Follow the boardwalk through the paper bark trees to a tea coloured freshwater creek for a dip. There are stairs for you to exit out of the creek and there is also a toilet block at the car park. We spotted this big eel-tailed catfish digging around in the bottom of the creek. Then it was off to Freshwater Road four-wheel drive track. We pulled over and let some air out of the tyres, down to between 15 to 18 psi. The track is a 15 kilometre one way and you will need to get a permit from the local tackle store at the servo for $26 a day for a day pass. There were cameras recording the number plates a fair way down the track. Byman day use area is about three kilometres from the start of the track with toilets and picnic tables. Some of the road is soft in places and hard in others and with all different kinds of vegetation. The rainforest sections were most beautiful and the trees were massive. We arrived at the Freshwater Day Use area and stopped for lunch. So we are at Freshwater Campgrounds having a little bit of lunch before we head down to Tiwa Beach. But we've made it this far and saw the biggest goanna climbing up a tree. So we are at the Freshwater Day Use area. And we're just going to give you a quick look around. There's barbecues picnic tables, a few picnic tables, trees, there's old Ed over there having his lunch, and a toilet block. There's also a set of toilets, male and female, 
uh, disabled. So that was lunch. Off we go to Tiwa Beach. Then we headed up the beach to Double Island Point. Where there is a lighthouse on top if you are keen for the 2.2 kilometer grade three track. There is beach camping further down the beach. Book online at National Parks. We arrived at low tide as we had never been on this beach before, but it was really stunning. Then we happened upon some pro fishermen netting the beach. We stopped to watch the action. And man, and they caught some tubs of fish. It made us feel more confident about our chances. So off we went looking for a good spot. Lucky I'd got dinner out, just saying. Possibly jinxed myself. So as the sun started to get low, we headed home. No, that's the map. We pulled into the Byman day use area and stopped to air up. I went for a walk around to show you what it has to offer, as you can get to this area by two wheel drive. It's situated in the rainforest and has picnic tables, toilets and a couple of walking tracks.
The Danathu circuit is only 250 metres long and wanders through the rainforest. So Puna Lake's a two kilometre one way walk. We were home in time to put dinner on before a sunset walk up the beach. For the tree. <laughs> you should be sitting where I am. One roast turkey leg. It's their fair sizzling. Huh? It's fair sizzling. It is beautiful at sunset. Actually, it's beautiful all the time except when it's windy. The last walk, we're leaving tomorrow. Let me show you how to not get a roast turkey off the fire. I have no hairs left on my arms. Won't be doing that again. We left the next day before heading into Tinnabar for a look around and then heading west. We spotted these wild brumbies on the side of the road. So that's it till next week. I do hope they get that gastro bug sorted. Keep in contact, stay happy, and we'll see you next Sunday at 6am.